All right, a self-contained unit. <laughs> Typical self-contained. Oh, but the evaporator is inside of, of a box, rectangular box, full of coolant, full of fresh water. That one, you see? Yeah. Full of fresh water. And here in the compressor, guys, There's your discharge. Uh, you have the discharge, high pressure, and you have in the other side here, the suction, correct? Yeah. Suction, both of them vapor in the compressor. Ah, of course, come on here, come on guys, here. Everything I've noticed is that the suction. are Look at this, the suction, the suction, the vapor enter here in the bottom of the white valve. In yeah. this moment is in cooling mode and continue here, here to, to enter in the, in the condenser coil. Ah, but look at this, enter in a manifold. Enter in a manifold here. You see the manifold? Yeah, yeah. Ah, and that, right that manifold for one coil, other coil, and other coil. And circulate through those three coils yeah. and return in other manifold. Look at this. Yeah, it comes down to this. Ah, uh, right. and down. And then it goes into. Go down. Two spots. Well, it goes into that. What is that? A. Uh, that's the other relay? Uh, no, no, no. This is another uh, expansion, uh, uh, expansion valve. Expansion. I'm going to explain why in the hot side. Yeah. Look, high pressure switch, yep. high pressure switch, high pressure switch, high pressure switch, and... Back, right? Yeah, you understand? Okay. All right, guys. The only difference that we didn't talk about, and which then, obviously uh, we did on the drawings, side, the cool is it does, it does come back down into the Y valve, but we already know that when it's in cooling mode, oh, it correct. circulates back. Correct, yeah. right. correct. Okay, pay attention. And the coolant, look at this. The coolant, uh, uh, okay, and, uh, and uh, high pressure, high pressure, high pressure, enter here into the thermal expansion valve. And the thermal expansion valve, look at this, the, 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 the capillary pipe on the membrane is connected here in the vapor pipe. In the vapor pipe, use the vapor pipe before enter in the compressor. You remember? Yep. Yeah. Okay, and uh, the diaphragm open or close according with that bulb and uh, the high pressure is reduced in low pressure, low temperature, and enter in the bottom of the of the of the evaporator tower and start to evaporate the refrigerant, the refrigerant, the refrigerant, the refrigerant, and the refrigerant fully evaporated. Look, fully vapor, fully evaporated, goes down into the Y, goes down into the Y, continue here and enter in the compressor. It's clear, man, my friends. 